everybody, Reed here. Started the day off with a great training session at Paragon, and now I'm out here in uh, Zilker Park in beautiful Austin, Texas. Today in the vlog, I wanna talk about a subject that I feel like is a hot one in Jiu Jitsu these days. Everybody's weighing in on it, whether it's gi versus no gi, or which rule set is the best rule set, but what I wanna talk about here on the vlog today is, is Jiu Jitsu exciting? Just a simple question. Now, I obviously wanted to throw my opinion into this hat. I've covered jiu-jitsu for a very long time, been to basically almost every competition there is. I've been to the IBJJF Worlds, I've been to ADCC, you know, I've been able to see jiu-jitsu firsthand for, for coming up on three, four years now, you know, being, being right in the front row. And so this question is very easy for me. Jiu-jitsu is, is, is extremely exciting, and it's never been more exciting than it is right now, and I'm gonna prove it to you. Yes, of course, not every single jiu-jitsu match is exciting. Certainly, I, I can't, I'm gonna concede that, I'm not gonna lie. There are some boring jiu-jitsu matches, for sure, but is every MMA fight exciting? Is every baseball game, is every basketball game exciting? Certainly not, and it doesn't mean that we can't find exciting moments, we can't find exciting storylines within jiu-jitsu, because let me tell you, man, there are plenty. You like, you want superstars? Take a look at uh, guys like Bushesha, who's breaking records left and right. <laughs> In intensity, you want intensity? Take a look at somebody like a like a Nicholas Marigali, man. When I'm backstage or when I'm, my camera is pointed at, at Nicholas Marigali, it feels like the room goes quiet, man. That guy, it gets so intense, it's incredible to watch. Rivalries? Uh, check out, uh, how about Leandro Lowe versus Herbert Santos, one of my favorite rivalries from the past few years. These guys um, do not like each other, it seems, and although Leandro Lowe has dominated the rivalry, he's certainly been able to, uh, Herbert has certainly been able to take Lowe off his game uh, a number of times and at least create some very exciting matches. <laughs> you guys jiu-jitsu is at its most exciting there's rivalries there's superstars there's newcomers there's the old veterans if you like the tacticians like lepre and cobrinha and things like that this is a sport that is booming that is bursting at the seams worldwide only a matter of time before more and more of the australians are coming the polish are coming the norwegian are already here and while longing for the the glory days of old uh, of the yesteryear of the sport is a trend certainly in, in other sports don't forget to look forward because the future of jiu-jitsu is so bright. There's never been more technique. There's never been more guys doing jiu-jitsu. There's never been more women doing jiu-jitsu. There's never been more populace contributing to the martial art that you and I both love. And we didn't even talk about the purple belt and these blue belts. They're, they're crazy. They're black belts already. This is hands down such an easy question for me. Of course jiu-jitsu is exciting. Of course it is. It's never been more exciting. The future of jiu-jitsu is so bright. Man, I just, I got so excited though. I need to go burn off some more steam even though I'm already exhausted from jiu-jitsu earlier.
have made it. Pretty good view behind me, as you can see. Whew, that was an epic hike, epic run. Just to touch on the uh, rule set thing even more, you know, I, that's a thing in jiu-jitsu. We're constantly trying to find the perfect rule set, trying to find a little bit of this, a little bit of sub only, a little bit of points, a little bit of wrestling, a little bit of that. And it, we're trying to find the perfect rule set. I think it's okay that we don't have the perfect rule set. I'm a big fan of the ADCC rule set. I think that's a good amalgamation of sub only and points and wrestling and things like that. But if you're a big sub only guy, that's cool. If you're a points only guy, that's cool too. If you like reaping, if you don't like reaping, if you only like no gi, if you only like gi, that's the beauty of jujitsu, right? Is we can come together from all these different angles and share the sport. And I don't think we have to have the perfect rule set. We can keep looking for it. It's fine, we, we can do no time limit sub only. We can do, we can experiment all these things and, and whatever you're into, you can pick and choose and, and find the best thing that suits your game, that suits your style we put so much pressure to find the perfect uh, spectator rule set and maybe it doesn't exist maybe it does maybe we'll keep finding it but in, in the meantime it doesn't mean that jiu-jitsu is not exciting in the meantime it doesn't mean that jiu-jitsu uh, whether it's no gi sub only or whether it's points in the gi you can't enjoy these things because they both all of it all of these things have extremely extremely exciting elements you just have to know where to look and luckily for you flow grappling's here to show you all where to look right Hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. Let me know what you guys think. What's the perfect rule set? What do you guys like? What do you guys like to watch? What do you hate to watch? I know you guys don't like to watch me talking, but I'm gonna try to put some more jujitsu in here next week. I appreciate you guys watching, following along this week. I had fun, I'm tired. I'm gonna go take a shower, and I'll see you guys on the mats. Thanks for watching.